Hello students, today we will be discussing about research and documentation. In that, we will discuss about classification and tabulation of data. Classification The process of dividing the data into different groups, that is classes which are homogeneous within but heterogeneous between themselves is called a classification. It helps in understanding the salient features of the data and also the comparison with similar data. Rules of classification. In quantitative data, classification, classifying data by assigning arbitrary limits is called class limits. The group between any two class limits is termed as class or class interval. The primary rules of classification are given below. There should not be any ambiguity in the definition of classes. It will eliminate all doubts while including a particular item in a class. All the classes should preferably have equal width or length. Only in some special cases we use classes of unequal width. The class limits integral or fractional should be selected in such a way that no value of the item in the raw data coincides with the value of the limit. The number of classes should preferably be between 10 and 20, that is neither too large nor too small. The classes should be exhaustive, that is each value of the raw data should be included in them. The classes should be mutually exclusive and non-overlapping, that is each item of the raw data should fit only in one class. The classification must be suitable for the object of inquiry. The classification should be flexible and items included in each class must be homogeneous. Width of class interval is determined by first fixing the number of class intervals and then dividing the total range by that number. There are four types of classification. Qualitative classification. It is done according to attributes or non-measurable characteristics like social status, sex, nationality, occupation, etc. For example, the population of the whole country can be classified into four categories as married, unmarried, widowed and divorced. When only one attribute, example sex, is used for classification, it is called simple classification. When more than one attributes, example deafness, sex and religion are used for classification, it is called manifold classification. Quantitative classification. It is done according to numerical size like weights in kg or heights in centimeter. Here classifying the data by assigning arbitrary limits known as class limits. The quantitative phenomenon under study is called a variable. For example, the population for business statistics of the whole country may be classified according to different variables like age, income, wage, price, etc. Hence, this classification is often called classification by variables. Variable. A variable in statistics means any measurable characteristic or quantity which can assume a range of numerical values within certain limits. Example, income height, age, weight, wage, price, etc. A variable can be classified as either discrete or continuous. Discrete variable. A variable which can take up only exact values and not any fractional values is called a discrete variable. Number of workmen in a factory, members of a family, students in a class, number of births in a certain year, number of telephone calls in a month, etc. are examples of discrete variable. Continuous variable. A variable which can take up any numerical value, integral or fractional, within a certain range is called a continuous variable. Height, weight, rainfall, time, temperature, etc. are examples of continuous variables. Age of students in a school is a continuous variable as it can be measured to the nearest fraction of time that is years, months, days, etc. Temporal classification. 
it is done according to time. Example, index numbers arranged over a period of time, population of a country for several decades, exports and imports of India for different five-year plans, etc. It is done with respect to space or places. Example, production of cereals in quintals in various states, population of a country according to states, etc. The data can be classified according to attributes or qualities, simple classification and multiple classification. Simple classification, it is also known as classification according to dichotomy. When data are divided into groups according to their qualities, the classification is called simple classification. Example, adolescent children, male and female. Manifold or multiple classification. In this method, data is classified using one or more qualities. First, the data is divided into two groups using one of the qualities. Then, using the remaining qualities, the data is divided into different subgroups. Example, adolescent children, male, female. Furthermore, we can divide it into male literate and male illiterate, female literate and female illiterate. Furthermore, we can divide them into male literate, weight and height and male illiterate, weight and height, female literate, weight and height, female illiterate, weight and height and so on according to variable or quantity or according to class intervals. Classification according to class intervals or variables, the data which is expressed in numbers quantitative data is classified according to class intervals covering each and every item. After finding the least and the highest value of an item, those items are to be classified into different class intervals. Example, in a community, there are 500 people. The least age was 1 year and the highest was 50 years. Table 1. Age in years and number of children. 0 to 10, 60. Between 10 to 20, there are 120. Between 20 to 30, there are 150. Between 30 to 40, there are 100. Between 40 to 50, there are 70. The number of classes should not be too large or too small. As a rule, one should have between 10 and 25 classes. The actual number depending on the total frequency. Further, classes should be exhaustive. They should not be overlapping, so that no observed value falls in more than one class. There are two types of classification, exclusive method and inclusive method. Exclusive method. In this method, the upper limit of a class becomes the lower limit of the next class. It is called exclusive, as we do not put any item that is equal to the upper limit of a class in the same class. We put it in the next class. That is, the upper limits of classes are excluded from them. For example, a person of age 20 years will not be included in the class interval 10 to 20, but taken in the next class 20 to 30. Since in the class interval between 10 to 20, only units ranging from 10 to 19 are included. Example, 0 and below 10 or 0 to 9.9. .9. 10 and below 20 or 10 to 19.9, 20 and below 30 or 20 to 29.9 and so on. Inclusive method. In this method, the upper limit of a previous class is less by 1 from the lower limit of the next class interval. In short, this method allows a class interval to include both its lower and upper limits within it. The table 2 is as follows. There is class and frequency. 0 to 4, 5. 5 to 9, 6. 10 to 14, 8. 15 to 19, 10. 20 to 24, 7. And in the same way, 0 to 4.9, is 5, 5 to 9.9, .9, 6, 10 to 14.9, 8, 15 to 19.9, .9, 10, 
20 to 24.97. In any problem, if the class intervals are given as the inclusive type, then they should first be converted into the exclusive type. For this, a correction factor is required. Correction factor is equals to half of the upper limit of a class minus the lower limit of the next class, which is generally 0 0.5. Now subtract it from the lower limits and add it to the upper limits of the class intervals given in the inclusive methods. Qualitative classification. When facts are grouped according to the qualities or attributes like religion, literacy, business, etc., the classification is called qualitative classification. Tabulation is the systematic arrangement of the statistical data in columns or rows. It involves the orderly and the systematic presentation of numerical data in a form designed to explain the problem under consideration. Tabulation helps in drawing the inference from the statistical figures. Tabulation prepares the ground for analysis and interpretation. Therefore, a suitable method must be decided carefully, taking into account the scope and objects of the investigation, because it is very important part of the statistical methods. Types of tabulation. In general, the tabulation is classified in two parts, that is, a simple tabulation and a complex tabulation. Simple tabulation gives information regarding one or more independent questions. Complex tabulation gives information regarding two mutually dependent questions. Example of one-way table. There are two columns. One is of division and the other one is population in millions. The division includes Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. This table gives us information regarding one characteristic information about the population in different divisions. All questions that can be answered in one way table are independent of each other. It is therefore an example of a simple tabulation since the information obtained in it is regarding one independent question that is the number of persons in various divisions in millions. Two way table. These types of table give information regarding two mutually dependent questions. For example, question is how many millions of persons are in divisions? The one-way table will give the answer. But if you want to know that in the population number, who are in the majority, male or female, the two-way tables will answer the question by giving the column for female and male. The example for a two-way table. The division talks about the places like Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. The population in millions is divided into two parts, such as male population and female population. The last column is the total of both the populations. Three-way table. Three-way table gives information regarding three mutually dependent and interrelated questions. The example of the table is as follows. There is a division column, population in millions column and the total. The division has the following places Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. The population in millions is divided into male and female which is further divided into literate and illiterate. So there is a male literate, illiterate and total. Then there is female literate, illiterate and total. And the last column talks about just literate and illiterate and the total. This table gives information concerning the literacy of both male and female in various South Indian states. From the table, we can explain the sex which has more education in relation to states and South India as such. Higher order tables. Higher order tables are those which provide information about a large number of interrelated questions. Higher order tables may be of four way, five way, six way, etc. Such kind of tables are called manifold tables. A good table is one which has the following requirements. It should present the data clearly, highlighting important details. It should save space but attractively designed. 
the table number and the title of the table should be given. Row and column headings must explain the figures therein. Averages or percentages should be close to the data. Units of the measurement should be clearly stated along the titles or headings. Abbreviations and symbols should be avoided as far as possible. Sources of the data should be given at the bottom of the data. In case irregularities creep in table or any feature is not sufficiently explained, references and footnotes must be given. The rounding of figures should be unbiased. Ok students, this is about classification and tabulation of data. Any questions? Hello ma'am, this is Tafrida Banu. Can you once again define classification and types of classification? There are four types of classification. Qualitative classification. It is done according to attributes or non-measurable characteristics like social status, sex, nationality, occupation, etc. For example, the population of the whole country can be classified into four categories as married, unmarried, widowed and divorced. When only one attribute, example sex, is used for classification, it is called simple classification. When more than one attributes, example deafness, sex and religion are used for classification, it is called manifold classification. Quantitative classification. It is done according to numerical size like weights in kg or heights in centimeter. Here classifying the data by assigning arbitrary limits known as class limits. The quantitative phenomenon under study is called a variable. For example, the population for business statistics of the whole country may be classified according to different variables like age, income, wage, price, etc. Hence, this classification is often called classification by variables. Variable. A variable in statistics means any measurable characteristic or quantity which can assume a range of numerical values within certain limits. Example, income, height, age, weight, wage, price, etc. A variable can be classified as either discrete or continuous. Discrete variable. A variable which can take up only exact values and not any fractional values is called a discrete variable. Number of workmen in a factory, members of a family, students in a class, number of births in a certain year, number of telephone calls in a month, etc. are examples of discrete variable. Continuous variable. A variable which can take up any numerical value, integral or fractional, within a certain range is called a continuous variable. Height, weight, rainfall, time, temperature, etc. are examples of continuous variables. Age of students in a school is a continuous variable as it can be measured to the nearest fraction of time, that is years, months, days, etc. Temporal classification. It is done according to time. Example, index numbers arranged over a period of time, population of a country for several decades, exports and imports of India for different five-year plans, etc. It is done with respect to space or places. Example, production of cereals in quintals in various states, population of a country according to states, etc. Okay students, so this is about classification and tabulation of data. Thank you.